hello everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video guys we will be doing my week three check-in so let's get into it okay guys like i said we will be doing my um, week three check-in which will be from september 15th through september the 21st but before we get started with that i would like to say hello hey guys to all my returning subscribers Hope you guys are having a great start to your week. Thank you guys so much for being here. And if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for clicking on my video. And if you like all things budgeting, please go ahead and stay a while. It is free. I just need a little bit of your time, maybe one to two days per week. So please go ahead and hit that subscribe button to join the Savers family. We would love to have you here. Now, guys, what I am doing, and I apologize if I sound a little raspy, right now because it is like five o'clock in the morning and I'm trying to get this video um, done before everyone gets up so I'm trying to be as quiet as I can be which is really really hard for me because my voice tends to rise but we'll see how this video goes okay but like I said before we are going to be doing or checking in from the week of September 15th through September 21st and the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is check off all the bills that were paid during that time frame. And I'm going to go back to my, um, move this out the way, my second paycheck of the month. These are all the bills that needed to be paid between the 15th and the 21st. And typically when I pay the bills or when the bills come out, I go ahead and check them off on the side here. But I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing like I normally do on my monthly spread. So, um, as you can see, the um, 16th is a very busy day because a lot of bills either come out or have to be paid. So, um, let's see. The personal loan was paid. The Roth IRA was funded. Naviat, which is my student loan, was paid. And my insurance was paid um, that day as well. And then the last bill that was paid during that week was Netflix on the 20th. So the next thing we're going to do, guys, is go ahead and go over my cash spending for the week as well. <laughs> I went a little ham or I went a little crazy um, because I actually have 14 transactions that I need to go over um, with you guys. And as you can see, I've already... Um, Put the transaction stickers on my um, monthly view so that I can save some time with you guys. But I'm going to go ahead and go through them with you real quick. Um, let me pull. This is my um, Happy Planner micro notes, and this is what I use to track all of my cash spending. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that out to help me out a little bit. So um, the first transaction I made was on a 15th to Walmart. And that was for $175.96. And then on the 16th, um, I had to buy my October planner stickers. And I um, purchased them for, from Romina Rosa. Um, and that was out of my, let's see, my spending envelope for $30.18. And then the same day on the 16th, out of our dining out envelope, I purchased some McDonald's for $6.78. Then when we moved to the 17th, um, I had a lot of transactions that I made because um, I not only budget, um, but I also, and guys, excuse my hands, I do not, I didn't feel like doing my nails, but I will make sure to have them done for the next video. But anyway, um, I'm not only a budgeter, but I'm also a planner, um, and I was on the hunt for some planning stickers this day. So um, I actually went to three different places. I went to the Dollar Tree. I didn't really find any stickers, but I did find some really cute journals. Um, I spent $9.60 there. I did um, go to Joann's and I found two of these really cute um, Happy Planner sticker books. They were normally like $5.99 and they were on sale for 50% off a piece and that was $6.41. And then I went to Walmart, found a couple of little sticker packets there and a couple of other things for $13.33. And guys, all three of these transactions came out of my spending envelope. 
And then for lunch, I went to Mod's Pizza and spent $11.24. That came out of my allowance envelope. And then for dinner that evening, I got subs for me and my husband from Firehouse Subs for $19.01. And that came out of my dining out envelope. And then on Saturday, um, I went to go see my grandson play football, guys. And my grandson got a touchdown. Yay! But anyway, I had to pay, of course, to get into the game. It was $4.00. And then after I left the game, I went um, to Pie Pies to get me some lunch. And that was $6.87. Um, I did not have any transactions on the 19th. But then um, yesterday on the 20th, um, I had to get gas because this is my week to go into work. And I spent $40 out of my gas envelope. I went to McDonald's that morning and got me a frat pay. Um... That was $2 out of my allowance envelope. And check this out, guys. I've never had to go to um, page two to do my actual tracking. But again, I had a lot of transactions this week, so I had to actually create another page. But um, anyway, um, so I went to McDonald's and got me a frat pay. And then on my way home, now, guys, I have a dilemma. I don't have a dilemma. I've talked myself through it, and this is what I'm going to do from now on because this, this, um, my envelope started to stress me out a little bit, and I'll, I'll tell you why in a minute, and it has to do with these two transactions. On my way home from Walmart, I on my way home from work, I'm sorry, I had to go to Walmart and pick up a couple things, and I actually spent $30, um, $30 and like, 58 cent and some change, but I only had $20 left in my, um, my grocery envelope, which you'll see in a minute. And typically when I do not have any more money in my envelope, I will just use my debit card and categorize it as, as a um, budgeted transaction. But I was sitting there like, Raquel, you have all of this money in these other envelopes. Why create an unbudgeted transaction? Take money out of your um, out of your cushion when you can just use some money that you have in your other envelopes. So honestly, that is exactly what I did. I've always had a rule ever since I started my um, cash envelopes um, that I would not um, borrow money from another envelope. But I thought about it and I think that's sort of, it's not a stupid rule because that way I'm able to track exactly how much I am spending in each category. But at the same time, if I have money sitting in these envelopes, that money is supposed to be there to spend. So that's exactly what I did. I had $10 left in my spending envelope. So I went ahead and spend it versus creating an unbudgeted amount and um, taking money out of my cushion in my checking account. So actually going forward, anytime I have money left over in my, either in my um, grocery envelope, spending out envelope, um, or my, what's the other envelope? Grocery spend, um, spending allowance envelope, and I have no more money left over in the other envelope. I'm just going. I'm just going to take from another envelope. I need to look at it as just a bucket of money to be spent, but at the same time, I can still track if whether or not I went over in a certain category, even though I did borrow from an envelope that that um, spending shouldn't have come from in the first place. So. Going forward, that's what I'm going to do. So you most likely will not see any unbudgeted categories unless I've spent all the money in my um, cash envelopes and I have to go to my cushion. So I feel a lot better about that because trust me, I was like, oh my God, I don't have any more money left in my Walmart envelope and I really didn't want to spend any money in my cushion. So a uh, crisis averted. I just went ahead and pulled some money out of another envelope. But anyway... Just wanted to let you guys know about that. Do not be uh, stressed out um, with your cash envelopes. If you have money, if you're done with one envelope and you need to pull from another one, it's okay because that money is there to, to spend anyway. But what we're going to do now real quick is go ahead and track my no spins. And it appears that I only have two. 
I know I will not be spending any money today. So let's go ahead and, oh good Lord, I normally do this off camera. But let's go ahead and do this now. I have a no spend on the 19th and I have a no spend on the 20th. I mean the 21st guys, not the 19th. I mean not the 20th. So I actually only have two no spends for this week, which is okay. So what we're gonna do now is go ahead to my detailed um, check-in page so we can see how much money I have left going into the last part of the month. So let's go ahead and go there now. Okay guys, this is my um, weekly check-in spread and what we're gonna do is go to the week of the 15th through the 21st. And let me try to zoom you guys. Oops, I'm sorry. Let me try to zoom you guys in a little bit. If it'll allow me to. Okay, great. So if you did not see my last um, budget with me and cash envelope stuffing, I will um, link it in the iCards and in the description box. But during that video is where I stuffed these envelopes. Um, and what we're going to do now is go ahead and do some calculating so we can see how much money I have left and how much was spent. So in groceries, we started out with 200 for um, the week. And as you guys know, we spent 175 at Walmart on the 15th. And we round that up to $180 because of the savings challenge that I'm doing. And then we spent the last 20 at Walmart yesterday. So I don't need to add that up. I actually spent the entire $200 out of that envelope. So that leaves me with zero for groceries. For dining out, I did not have too many um, transactions, but on the 16th, I went to McDonald's, spent $6.78. We rounded up to $10. And then on the 17th, we went to Firehouse and spent $19.01. We round that up to $20. So for dining out, 20 plus 10 equals 30. That leaves us with $50 in our dining out envelope. For spending, I already know I spent it all because that last $10 I used at Walmart. But let's go ahead and go through our spending. We spent ten. We spent nine dollars and sixty cent at the Dollar Tree. We're going to round that up to ten dollars. We spent six dollars and forty one cent at Joanne Fabrics. We're going to round that up to ten dollars. We spent thirteen thirty three at Walmart. We're going to round that up to twenty dollars. Um, let's see. Oh, you know what? Romina Rosa, I forgot about that on the 16th. Spent $30.18 for my monthly stickers. So we're going to just make that $30. And that brings me to $70. And then yesterday at Walmart, I spent the last $10 to help out with my groceries. So that, oops, I was at $70 plus $10. That takes me to $80. So guys, I have no more money left out, left over in my spending envelope. As far as beauty is concerned, I already know I have not spent that money yet. I need to get my hair cut this Saturday. So we're going to go ahead and put zero there and bring the 30 over. And guys, beauty is an envelope I will not borrow from because when I do my budgeting, I always take out the exact amount I need for either my hair or my to get my eyebrows done. So that one I wouldn't be able to borrow from anyway because I wouldn't have the money for it. Now, as far as my allowance is concerned, let's see here. I spent $11.24 at Mod's Pizza and I do not use any leftover in my savings challenge for that. I use my leftover money for that in a different challenge. And then I had to spend $4 at my grandson's little um, football game. Then I spent $6.87 at Popeye's. What is going on here? Let's do this again. One moment. $11.24. Um, $4. $6.87. $2. And that is it. So I have spent $24.11. <laughs> and 
and this is wrong already is saying I have five dollars and 89 cents left over in that envelope and the reason why I know that's wrong is because I only have two dollars left so something did not get tracked but it's not the end of the world it is what it is and then last but not least um, in my gas envelope I actually spent forty dollars and I normally don't spend that much, but our the gas is like $3.20 in our area, which is ridiculous. But I normally I only have to spend $30 because um, I really don't do that much driving unless it's my time to go to work for the week. But um, I did do a little bit of running around, so my gas gauge was a little lower than it normally is. So I had to not only put more than I normally do, the price of gas has gone up as well. So... I only have $20 left in gas, and I do not have an unbudgeted amount. So we're just going to mark that out. So going into the last week of the month, which will be the 28th through the 30th, I have 50 left over in dining, 30 left over in beauty. This says $5.89, but I only have $2 left in my envelope, and I have $20 left in gas. And what I do, guys, is I take this amount and move it over here. And then anything I have left over for um, the week or the two weeks will go into my leftover savings challenge totals. And I just put that money in my savings account. But with that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, comment below. If you do um, cash envelope tracking, let me know down in the comments how you are doing. Um, I would really like to talk with you guys. But with that, Again, if you are new to my channel and you like what you see, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It is free to join the family. We would love to have you over here. But guys, with that, I'm going to go ahead and see you in my next video where I will be um, doing my um, debt snowball payoff. But guys, you have a great rest of your week. God bless. Bye, guys.